right. Nobody is coming from the left. Ready? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yep. Okay, good. Hello. <laughs> hey, YouTube, this is Photo Batman. And this is Photo Batman. And today we're going to take a ride to a place that I was going to go to a while back, and that's uh, called End of the Commons. And End of the Commons is uh, another interesting place to go to if you're out this way, like going to the wineries and whatnot. It's... Uh, like an old-fashioned general store. And it's located in Mesopotamia. Yeah, located in Mesopotamia, Ohio. Uh, commonly referred to as Mespo around here. Um, a, a lot of a lot of the employees at End of the Commons are Amish, and they cater with a lot of their stuff to the Amish. Um, but they also have a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. I mean, you can go there and you can get like knee highs and stuff. And I mean, knee high to drink. Um, penny candy, there's like, or nickel candy or something like that. There's, you know, the cheap candy that you can buy. Yeah. And, and, and old toys, like the old wooden toys, like the wooden pop gun thing where it had the little popper on the string and and you know the the wooden snake thing um all kinds of stuff i mean all kinds of stuff that i didn't even know they still made yep that you could still find somewhere well that's one of the places you can find something like that yeah it, it's it's really cool and it's actually i think you'll see it's a cool ride that we're going a different way than we normally go to get there so we'll see how this this turns out Right now, we're headed towards Hart's Grove, um, which is in Trumbull County. And those of you that watched my channel in the past will recognize where we're headed to, Hart's Grove, and the, the circle there at Hart's Grove. Um, but we're going to go up there, and we're going to catch uh, 534. We're currently on Route 6. Um but we're going to take 534 into Maspo to into the Commons. Route 6 would take you all the way into Pennsylvania and beyond if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I talked in one of my videos about the fact that uh, we had talked about maybe sometime in the future uh, going to Rhode Island and taking the stick instead of taking the highway. You know, and I, I want to say it goes all the way to, to California, Route 6. It goes from the Atlantic to the Pacific. So kind of like the Route 66 that's still fully in operation. All right, leaving Jaga entering Ashville. Oh, Ashville, I was wrong. I thought, I was thinking that Hart's Grove was Ashville County, but for some reason I thought maybe, you know, it was the northernmost part of Trumbull. But I was wrong. Well, I don't know, because it's up here, 
in the, what do they call it, the top hat or something? The, the what? The top hat. The, the, oh, the, the chimney of Geauga County. There you go, the chimney. But it's where you've got Ashtabula, Geauga, Trumbull County, all of them come together. And Lake. And, well, yeah, Lake, too. Oh, it's the... It's, uh, Part of Geauga County that gets the most uh, lake effect snow right. is, is the chimney. And the, the chimney is made up of Montville and Thompson are in the chimney. Well, and I think you had the right idea with the long sleeve shirt underneath the jacket. It is a little bit chilly. Yeah, I mean, the sun is out, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's still, still chilly. Yeah, I was going to wear that, wear a hoodie underneath this, and then I thought, no, nope, we're getting to that time of year that I've got to start getting used to the chill for riding in the winter. Don't want to, like, overdress now and then have to suffer when it actually does get cold because I can't put on enough. One of these days I'll break down and buy heated gear. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, probably. And, and I mean, heated grips might not be bad either. It's, they're not that big a deal to install. And they're not that expensive. I just, I don't like the grip that I've got. You know, I ordered that other set of grips that I liked how they looked, but they sucked as far as how they felt. Yep. Well, now we're coming into Hartsgrove. Pumpkin head is what that yep. says. I bet that thing would be fun to play with. Yep. Oh, I forgot this one was a stop, not a yield. Yeah, it's a stop. I'm going. All right, 534. Man, there's a lot of gravel in the middle of that. That's okay. Ridiculous. Ugh. So what is, what's the deal with this road? It's, I have no idea. It's crappy. Yeah. It's all just, screwed up like. Yeah, just take it easy. Yeah. Hopefully it's not this way the whole way. Well, and see, we took 534 thinking 534 would be in a better condition than yeah. plank slash 86. I don't know what this road is like. I must slow down. There's nobody behind us. This is Sumner. You want me to take it? Yeah, take it. Okay. This is better than what that was. I mean, it the it was nothing but grooves. It was like being on grooved pavement. Yeah. Well, we're trying to find a different way, see how we can connect up with something else. Because to that road there, there was no way I was riding all the way to... Uh, Mesopotamia on that grooved up road and it wasn't grooved like like how they tear up the road to then pave it mm -hmm. it yeah. was it, it had like it was a crappy pave job well it almost reminded me of being something closer to chip and seal yeah but even chip and seal it's still smooth 
Yeah. They don't have all those grooves. It's nice in here. I mean, it's awful straight, <laughs> which, of course, most of the roads around us are. Well, and I don't know this road, so I'm go just going to just cut right along. I want to say this this intersects with 86. I think so, if I remember correctly. Not taking that road. Oh, well, I don't know where. That would probably just dump us back off in the same spot of 534. Yeah. I mean, 86, part of 86 sucks because of all the patches and stuff. Yeah. But it's not like like that is, like that road was. And this road isn't bad. No, but I'm not going to go any faster. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the speed limit is either. I don't know. That's a nice two groove looking yeah, garage. That's what I was thinking. Which, it was nice and tall and everything. Yep. Yeah, put a lot of toys in there. There's an Amish house. Yep, yeah, Amish house with a Long greenhouse thing. thing in the front. That looks like eight. Well. But I think they got rid of their red and I think they have a different color now. Yeah, well, I don't think Nate, well, maybe he would. I, it didn't look like Nate. Whoever it was was driving on our side of the road. Yeah. Nice indoor arena. Yep. I think that was not that big. Nope. Nope, not, not a bad size at all. you're a family of four, we're going to have at most four horses being ridden at one time. Yeah. Now, now the road's kind of... Yep, now... <laughs> I'm going to slow it down a touch. Yeah. I feel like we've been on this road before. Uh, it's just like Not that. Quite. I don't remember being on, the, on this road. What I will say is it reminds me of Whitney Road the at, the, at, at the other end. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And of course, the smooth roads, they had to repave this summer. Let's not pave the crappy road. What is this? Uh, no clue. I don't know. I don't know, but it's do that. don't get many motorcycles that go by because he he turned around and looked at us. Oh, yeah. Well, he kept staring. A little better now. Yep. See, that's the thing. You never know what type of road you're going to come across. It could either be not a smooth road, a very bumpy road with all kinds of potholes, or it could be where you come across the road where all of a sudden you're going downhill on a windy spring or windy road. Yeah. I had a question, Allison. Yeah. What does Whitney Road turn into? What? What does Whitney Road turn into? I don't know. I was thinking some summoners. That's why I said that. Yeah. Because that's what, that's what I'm thinking... That's why the road looks familiar, and that's why that section of bumpity bumpity bump 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 seemed very familiar. I don't know. Well, you should know soon enough because you should be coming up on the. Uh, yeah, there's the boys' parents' house. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well. Ah little interesting thing here, folks. The road that we got off of 534 onto 
Summers or Sumners Road, whatever. We've taken that and it's changed into Whitney Road. And Whitney Road is where Alice's family farm is. And it was actually named after her ancestors, the Whitney. Which is the reason why we're in Geauga County, Ohio, is because of her family and family connection. There's the hunt club. Yep. My horn doesn't work. Uh, the hunt, this is the hunt club we just went past. And at one point in time, that land was part of uh, Mrs. Moto Matman's family There's land. Um, all of this through here was one time their, their farm. Right back there used to be where my dad's motorcycles and stuff were stored when he moved to California. Like I said, my my uh, horse doesn't work all the time. Uh huh. And all of this that we're going by now, again, part of the farm. And we're getting ready to go by the farm. And this is uh, over here is her family's farm. But all that, all that land from that hunt club all the way down to there, and including here, the farm went all the way, actually the farm went all the way up to 86 at one point, which is where we're getting ready to get up to it and we'll turn. So all of this was part of their... Are you wanting to take 86 or are you wanting to go up to 528? However you want to go. You can take let's, 528. Let's take 528. Yeah, you know that's paid. Okay, so all the way up to here was their family farm. And all the way to the next road that we're going to go to. Of course. But, uh, no, that it looks good here. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. It looks, plank looks good here, but remember when you get down yeah. and around, it starts to really fall apart. Yeah, no, that's not what I was saying. The land goes all the way up to here. To where we're going to turn up here, the 528. Land went all the way to the, the side of the land, or the back of the land, went all the way up here to this stop sign here. Yeah. So all of that area that we rode by, and all the way up here to this to this road, which is 528, is was at one point in time her ancestors' farm, the Whitney farm. Correct. Is now there's left, is my left blinker working? Uh I don't know, but I do see that your little thing got is out, Allison. What? I want you to pay attention to me. Your little cord is out from underneath your seat. Okay. Okay. All right, do you have your left blinker on cuz Yes, I do. Mine is. Yeah, yours is not blinking. That's what I said. Going. This is a uh, quite a bit of a turn for me. Which, like I said, my left side is my uh, horn too. Yeah. When I asked about my blinker working or not. Yeah. Because my horn isn't working. Turn on your right blinker. Yep, it works. Okay, now we're on 528 back in Jocker County. Kind of taking a roundabout way to get to Bensville. Oh my goodness. And then up here, we got road construction. And, you know, to be really honest, it's really smart of them to do road construction this time of year. As opposed to doing it in the spring, it really makes sense here in Northeast Ohio to do road construction in the fall. You have kids going back to school, so you have the bosses that end up with an issue with the road construction and all of that. But the other thing is, is I'm sure there's plenty of time for the asphalt to cure before 
winter comes and we get all of the snow and the freezing rain and everything else, that tends to crack up the asphalt and create the pothole. Right. So it's really kind of dumb to do it this time of year. It makes a whole lot more sense to do it in the spring where if you do it in the spring, you have all summer long for it to cure. And I say that, that's obviously not a whole lot of road construction there. But it's one of those things that we've been dealing with since the middle of the summer. And, and I just, you know, just don't understand why you would choose to do it then. And there's been a lot of road construction that started after school went back into session. But anyway... I'm sure they've got their reasons. The one thing I do want to mention is I talked a couple of times about my tank grip and the problem I was having getting them to stay on. And I I think I mentioned in, in a previous video that I went ahead and I took them off and I got all the gook on and got off the, all of the sick stuff off of both the tank and the back of the tank grip and I used the double-sided foam tape that you would use to attach things to, to your car like um, vent visors to go around your windows or the trim molding on a car or pickup truck that's held on with that foam double-sided tape. Well I used that on the tank grips and they seem to be working just fine. I bet that his face is cold. Yeah, I bet you too. And that's kind of odd, to be honest. You know, he was on, like, an adventure bike, and he's got on, you know, uh, a jacket with, with CE armor, and everything else and the hat on gloves with armor knuckles and then no helmet yeah <laughs> that makes no sense oh well but it's that time of year everybody too that uh we've already passed some that uh last year i made a video and talked about the marshmallow farm that we have here and uh the, the marshmallows are are popping up everywhere or starting to not really in the heart of the, the season but we've seen it okay a we're in Huntsburg I'm dropping down yeah uh, we've seen a few of the few of the giant marshmallows back back there a little ways I of course have been pulled over in Huntsburg driving down the road family in the car just keep right on down the road yeah and some of these small towns that actually have their own police department right after the junction of 322 i'm going to pull over okay so you've got a rig behind you make sure you got your right turn clicked on okay you're going to turn right okay yep. We're going to pull right in here where you got the school stuff. Right in here. Just this tip. Got it? Okay. What are we doing? I'm looking at the direction. Oh, okay. Because um, I knew what route to take. But I don't know the crossover road coming from here. 
There. 87. I get the damn bike in the neutral. So basically, you're going to take this all the way in the middle field and take it to 87. Okay. And bang a left on 87. Okay. Okay. Yep. And two, there was a road there because 534 intersected, but I couldn't remember what the name of the road was. Okay? Yep. All right. Well, nobody's coming. I see there's a little bit of gravel here. So I'm just going to go nice and easy. Man, that would suck to have your mailbox on the other side of this road. Yeah, just because there's just consistently traffic. Oh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, everybody, you notice we have these nice wide shoulders on this road? With well, the poop. Yeah, it's not that there's nice wide shoulders just to have nice wide shoulders. These are buggy lanes. You'll notice you got their manure all over the street. That's, that's why. Because you have an awful lot of Amish here that live on this road and they travel back and forth between um, Huntsburg and, and Middlefield. Uh, so they have these buggy lanes to make it safer. Safer for the buggies and the, the uh, Amish in the buggies, but also safer for the, the motorists. Um, now, something that they did a, a few years ago is they mandated that the uh, Amish buggies had to have uh, flashing lights on their buggies for at night. So they have like a car battery in their in their buggy so that they can operate flashing lights. So people can see them. Because you can imagine if you're out here, there's no street lights or anything out here. So if you're out here at night, uh, it's dark. I mean, it's like dark, dark. So it could be hard coming up over a hill or coming around a bend in the road and there being an Amish buggy and not being able to see him. So they mandated that. And, it, and it, it's helped. It's cut down on the number of, of accidents involving cars and Amish buggies tremendously. And it's not just this road. I mean, it's all the roads, the side roads and, and whatnot. All right, turn, man. I thought, I, as we were approaching this van, I thought it was slowing down. Well, oh my God, would you turn? Are they turning around? Maybe. Party lanes also make it nice for the mail carriers, too. I wonder if that building back there, that new building on the right-hand side, yeah. is the building that they were talking about that, uh, blew, that got hit by that tornado right after it was finished and they had to rebuild it? Oh, I don't know. It's over here somewhere. Because remember, I rode down here right after, and I was thinking it was closer to, you know, one of the main roads in Middlefield. Yeah. And never found it. That I didn't find, like, a debris field or them building a building or anything like that.
Now, see, they were talking about it being at Nauvoo, and there's nothing here. There's not a new building here at Nauvoo. No, not right there, no. So it, it had to be that building. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a truck parked on the on our side of the road facing the wrong way. Well, I know. I saw when we were approaching from a distance that there was something up here. there, bud. Rhubarb for sale back there. Ooh. That's some rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb pie. Activities into the Commons General Store, five miles. There's Chad's truck. All right, you're gonna have to use your blinker. Mine's not working. We're going left here. Yep. But the left blinker works on that duke you sat on. <laughs> you think? Now, see, you see going through here, you're not going to have buggy lanes. So you got to yeah. be careful of the buggies. Like that one there. Like that one there. Oh, and down here a little ways too is, and they're doing work on that that house that you like back there. Right here. Yeah. Down here you're gonna have the cheese, plate. cheese house. Has a lot of character. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you're gonna pass by the middle school to see the co-op. Yep, the Middlefield Co-op. So here's the, here it is right here on 87. This is the Middlefield Co-op Cheese House. Yep, it's right there. Right there, yep. And we go there a lot of times to get to get our cheese there. They have all kinds of different cheese, and they, they make it right there. That's where they make it. Yeah. You have a lot of the Amish in that area that will bring their... their Dairy, their milk and everything there and then they make the cheese there so they've got windows and everything so that you can the kids can watch and see them make it plus you also have you have other things that you can buy there like jellies and jams and stuff from other local almonds that yep. um, sell their products there too yep and it, it, it's really cool and good stuff good prices and you know it's fresh yep um and they obviously have things like samples of all the different. Yep, we've gotten like a jalapeno cheese there. Didn't we get like a garlic cheese one time was real good? Yeah. What I really like to do is um, get the bag of tidbits, which is like all the little scraps of all kinds of different cheeses. Yeah, well, and that's one of the things you can get. You can go there and you can get, you can get a wheel of cheese. You can get a block of cheese. You, you can, can have them cut it. You can get your meats and everything, or you can... Yeah go in and they have stuff already prepared. Yeah. Bags of little cubes yeah. to, to, to snack on. Jerky. Yeah. Going. Yep.
Well, and as you notice, Mrs. Photo Matman and I have different methods for passing the Amish buggy. Yes. You probably didn't even leave your lane. I didn't leave my lane. She swings out uh, wide like a like car. Like I'm driving a car. And if you notice, through here, instead of riding staggered like you should, there's a reason why I'm riding we're riding single file and that's because the metal wheels of the buggy tear up the right hand side of the lane yeah There's, i don't know if you can see it on the video or not but it uh and now here's a buggy lane so now we go back to being staggered yeah it, it's almost like being in a drainage ditch and not only do you have that but then it's it's all chopped up in the middle of that drainage ditch. Um, so if, if you ride out this way, on uh, bring your bike out this way to go to any of these places, it's, it's something that you want to keep in mind and, and pay particular attention to. Because once you get down in that like drainage ditch area, it, it's difficult to get back out without having to slow way down. And this road was recently repaved like two years ago, I think. Yeah. And that's when they added the buggy lane. There didn't used to be a buggy lane here, you know. There's a little buckboard coming. Yep. Yep. And this house over here on the left is an Amish house. One of the ways, it's really weird. I know people, and it's a look. The, yeah, that's definitely an Amish farm over there. You can tell it's an Amish farm because you have the solar panel on the barn. Uh, the other way to notice the Amish houses is the clothes on the lawn. And it's not just that there's clothes on the lawn, because I understand a lot of people still will, in the warm, warm weather, hang their clothes out on the line, but by the type of clothes that are on the line. Uh, But it still is, it's gotten to the, be the point where it's pretty uncommon for people to have their clothes out on the line all the time, um, other than the Amish. The other thing is, is normally when most of us, if we're going to hang our clothes out on the line, we're not going to hang them out on the line in the front yard or in the side yard. You know, we, for the whole world to see our clothes out on the line, the Amish they, they don't care. They do. Speed limit drops from slowing down some because we're getting closer. Yeah. And the Amish, the buggy lane just went away. Yep. You're going to be turning left up here anyway. God almighty. Man, that, that sucked. <laughs> I'm going to go to the buggy first. Okay. But you're going to need to turn on your turn signal. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get myself back over. Jeez, crime it. I don't lose it. There we go. We'll have to investigate my uh, turn signal issue. Yeah.
going to close it out? Yep, I'll do that. All right, we'll leave it, a, we'll leave it here for today. This is Mr. Moto Matman and Mrs. Moto Matman. If you like what you see, make sure you click the like and subscribe. Make sure you punch that bell. That way you get notifications whenever I upload new content. And as always, remember, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down, and have a great day. See ya.